Some 62,000 My30 Unlimited Travel Passes have been sold to public transport users since it was launched on June 15. Alhamdulillah, selepas hampir dua minggu dilancarkan, jumlah penumpang pengangkutan awam secara beransur-ansur meningkat sehingga 40% daripada jumlah penumpang sebelum PKP. Kerajaan berharap dengan kebenaran jumlah penumpang 100% atau 100% kapasiti dalam perkhidmatan rel sejak 11 Jun yang lalu, rakyat akan kembali menggunakan perkhidmatan rel awam. Jumlah ini dijangka meningkat dengan pembukaan semula sekolah secara berperingkat. Tengku Zafro told reporters this after a working visit to Prasarana Malaysia Berhad headquarters on Sunday. He said the encouraging response indirectly showed an increase in the mobility of the people which will in turn stimulate the reopening of businesses and boost the economy. Meanwhile, Prasarana Chief Operating Officer Muhammad Nizam Alias said they would be introducing a new discount pass on Wednesday to encourage the use of public transport among tourists and non-holders of My30 Pass. The My City Pass is offered at a 50% discount for one day and three day travel fare at 5 ringgit and 15 ringgit respectively. So we hope that with this further discount, untuk mereka yang jarang-jarang menggunakan pengangkutan awam, mungkin pada hujung minggu saja, uh, My 30 may not be suitable for that. So My City Pass, one day pass dan three day pass will be very uh, handy lah for these people, for this group of people. Most importantly, we want to uh, give more discounts so that people can 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 take our transportation in, in a more affordable way. Lima yeah? ringgit untuk satu hari perjalanan tambahan. Can we imagine? Yeah? So this is good because we also want to boost local tourism. Jadi yeah? orang yang datang ke Kuala Lumpur nak jalan di Kuala Lumpur lima ringgit, they can go to that city twice. They can go anywhere in KL, go to the tourist spots. And it's not that my 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 city pass belum kita tak boleh dijual. No, but we want to encourage more people to use public transport rather than congesting our roads and everything. On the current status of the LRT3 project, Muhammad Nizam said the construction has been resumed after it was halted during MCO. He added that as of March, the project is 30% completed.